Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 10 full tutorial series for beginners. In today's episode, we will learn how to install Angular CLI and how to get generate your first Angular application and run it. Like I said, this is for absolute beginners. The best way is to start coding along with me and that's how you will learn and that's how you will practice. Welcome back friends, my name is Sridhar. This is part four of Angular 10 full tutorial playlist. Make sure you have bookmarked this playlist. I have planned around 100 tutorials for you in this particular series. I will be uploading the notes and code in a GitHub link, which I will also put it in the description box below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and also check out the description for the links. All right, so, so far we have seen the basic introduction. We have seen the complete version history of Angular. We have seen how to upgrade your Angular application to Angular 10. And starting today, we will do our hands-on on Angular 10 by starting with installation of Angular CLI in our machines. Before we do that, make sure there are some basic prerequisites that are there on your machine. Of course, you need a basic operating system to work with. It can be Windows, Mac, Linux, Chromebook, whatever. You need a Node.js, which is nothing but a runtime environment for JavaScript. And you also need Node Package Manager, which is for JavaScript programming languages. And a code editor of any of your choice. It can be Visual Studio Code, Sublime, Mac, Vim, or any other editor that you prefer. So first thing to do is check out some of the details, right? So I am here, I have a basic um, uh, empty folder that I have. And the first thing I will do is node hyphen V. So it will give me the node version, right? Check your node version, npm hyphen V. Check that you have a correct npm, right? It should be 5.3 above, so you should have around six. So now that you have checked node and npm, we are good to start learning about how to install Angular. So the first step to install Angular CLI is install it globally. Globally means it will be available throughout different route path or locations in your machine. All right. So how do we do that? The command is npm install hyphen hyphen g at the rate Angular CLI. But before we do that, let me just make some notes for you here. I will cover Angular CLI in detail in coming episodes. But remember, CLI stands for Command Line Interface, which means that you in the terminal, in the terminal, which is this, right? In the terminal, you can run, can run commands and get most of the work done easily right through schematics this is also this also so basically it provides it provides some commands and schematics which helps us with faster code generation right and that's a pretty cool thing, right? Now, most of the leading frameworks or applications come with the CLI. All right, and how do you get the terminal, right? To get the terminal in Visual Studio Code, the shortcut, the shortcut is Control, right? Plus Control Command plus back tick. Now, this will be usually on top left side upper right upper top left side so check for that back tick control plus back tick and you would get the command here right then what you need to do is check for node version by running the command node hyphen v and then check for the npm version by running npm hyphen v okay so these are the commands that we will run and before we run our angular cli okay so this this will help us to understand how to get maximum of our information 
all right so now we have done that the next step is to install angular cli right to install angular cli and how do we do that we will say npm install hyphen g and we will say angular slash cli that's the command we will run let's go ahead and run this now npm hyphen install oh, sorry npm install hyphen g at the rate angular slash cli all right that's the command that's the same command that i've written it for you here now enter now remember whenever we do that it will get you the latest version <coughs> It will take a minute or so so bear with me in the meanwhile please do like share comment and you know what to do subscribe to my channel all right as always I always encourage you if you have any doubts or any doubts please drop in comment section that would help you Alright, also remember that uh, the best way to learn is to practice along with me. Practice along the video, right? So pause wherever you want, make sure that you're comfortable, make sure you revise everything that I am sharing so that you learn it completely end to end. Alright, the, the, since we are doing it for the first time, it will take some time, so bear with it. Don't be in a hurry. And the best way is that if you're doing it for the first time, grab a hot cup of coffee or tea, whichever you like, and then work. It's better. All right. So now we see that it says Angular is successfully added, right? And you see here it has added Angular CLI 10.2.0, right? So now this is done. So what you need to do, the next step is to create your new project right and how do you do it to create to create new project we'll run the command ng new project name right the project name can be i'm clearing it here the project name can be anything that you prefer so ng new and i want to build an application which would uh, say a crm tool right so I'm going to build a CRM tool, online CRM tool. So I'm going to call it online CRM. Online CRM. Okay. That's the project that we will build. So I will call it online CRM or I'm going to call it simple CRM. This is a good name. All right. So type ng space new space name. And then it would ask us, would you like to add routing? I'm pressing yes and then which CSS format. So these are different CSS formats that are available, right? The CSS is the basic one that is using style sheets, SAS, SCSS is the, um, the, I would say syntactically awesome CSS. I'll cover this later, but for now I'm selecting SCSS and you see it will auto create and generate the application for us. It would generate all the required project. It will generate all the required files, folders, test scripts, and much more. And basically, it will generate everything that you need to run an application, right? Scripts to run an uh, application. Okay. It will also resolve the dependencies by installing packages that you want. And you would see here on your left hand side, you'll see simple CRM. So it is generating all the files. It is generating all the code that we need. It is generating all the E2Es. So let's give a couple of minutes. It will let it install all the packages and our application will be up and running in no time. Alright, I will also cover in the next episode, I will explain the entire folder structure to you to tell you what each file means, how it affects 
and that way it would be very very easy for you to going forward to work with your application so don't worry if you don't understand any of the formats as of today like po or spec file we'll understand all of it in next episode we will deep dive and explore each and every folder slash file to understand the angular project in detail that's in the next episode the next episode so make sure that you subscribe and make sure that you don't miss out that episode especially if you're an absolute beginner all right like i said it's the first time so it will take some time you should have patience when you're working with angular or any modern uh, web framework for that matter all right so it has done everything it says successfully initialized git it has done everything that it requires all packages successfully installed everything all green that means our application is up and running how do we know that let's start the application to run the application the command is ng serve and there are certain things like by default the applic oh sorry so first you need to go into the project simple crm and then inside the crm you go and run the command ng serve oh i made a same mistake again simple crm and then ng serve all right so now what will happen is uh, angular application will be compiled for the first time right the application will be compiled here will be compiled and since it's a first time again this will take just a little moment um, but going forward it should be a hard reload it should not take that much time so once it is compiled you can see your output in the default port default port of angular is 4200 so to see the application when it says successfully compiled we have to go to localhost 4200 that's where we will see our application up and running right so it was compiling let's give it a minute to compile if there are any errors you can see right here <coughs> so it has compiled all the core libraries modules now it's building it's 50 percent complete so far 93 percent and now it says compiled successfully right and here you would see that it says angular development server is listening on localhost 4200 open your browser on localhost 4200 that means now when we go and launch our application on 4200 we should see the our localhost 4200 so we can just say localhost 4200 and we see simple crm and this is the default application that you are seeing right this when you see this that means that you are ready your application is up and running and congrats your first application is up and running right when you see this blue screen with sim your project name here is app is running that means your application is up and running so congrats to you you have successfully started your first application on angular 10 i would say mission one complete right in the next episode we will learn the details about each and every folder and files and we will continue building on top of this application to build a simple crm application i hope you have done followed me so far and without any doubts you have got your application up and running if you have any doubts just drop them in the comment section below and i will be happy to help you in the next episode i will cover the entire folder structure 
and maybe in the next one I'll cover the installation of bootstrap all right thank you so much for joining I'll see you in the next episode where we will do installation of bootstrap in angular application and then we will learn about the folder structure in detail thank you so much for joining I'll see you in the next episode